Hey guys, I haven't been out into the garden much of late. I have, um, I've had this itchy, tickly throat, low energy, all that sort of stuff. But um, I wanna come out and show you what's actually happening in the garden at the moment. It's just gone spring here and it's, it's dry. It's really dry. And um, I, I, like I said, I haven't been paying much attention to the garden. So I just wanna show you that there's, there's actually a lot of stuff that's dying off. I mean, it's still very productive, but there's a lot of stuff coming to life. And so I'm just gonna give you a quick tour around. A few things that I really need to do in the next few weeks, and that's uh, dig up my ginger and turmeric and also put a watering system to my uh, rock wall that I've got over there, over there. So um, I'm going to flip you around and I'm going to show you the things that are actually happening in the garden. There is stacks of flowers and bees and all that sort of stuff coming around. So let's go take a quick squeeze. All right, I'm going to start you off down the side of the house, which I actually don't show you very often. This is the side of the house where we've got the clothesline. Um, we've got the clothesline on this side of the house. We don't, it, it's not very, it's not used very much. So we come in our side gate and we've got <coughs> some um, oregano and some onions. But we've also got here this beautiful trellis that we put up last year with a grapevine. Now this is a very new grapevine and it is just coming out of its little hibernation period now. <coughs> and it's, it's starting to pop back up and, and starting to look look alive again so hopefully um, we get some grapes from this one now this one is called the Isabella black grape so it's going to be a darker colored grape and I have another grape vine down further which I'll show you soon but we've still got um, some snow peas that are cruising along that are really nice <clears throat> and some beautiful um, rainbow chard and red onions and some nice basil um, a Thai coriander which is cruising got lots of seeds and everything on it I've got down here a kumquat which I'm really looking forward to once it grows up and gets a bit bushier and everything and, and makes a nice nice shade on this side of the house as well as our, my pomegranate hidden behind this nasturtium there is <coughs> If I move all the nasturtium out of the way, we'll be able to see it. I have a beautiful pomegranate that's coming back to life as well. So the idea of the pomegranate is to grow up and bushy and hide, um, <coughs> hide the neighbours from, from the bedroom windows. Now, because I haven't been in the garden very much, my bathtub um, raised beds are very dry and I've, I've lost quite a bit of bit of stuff on it but this um, raspberry isn't doing too bad actually so yeah the native raspberry isn't you know, it, it's, it's cruising along it needed some more TLC this year that's for sure but <clears throat> down here we have we have my other grapevine now as you can I don't know if you can see this but we actually have grapes coming out on this one. So we'll see how that goes. This is the first season that I've had the grapevines in. So we'll, we'll kind of see how it goes and can't wait to, wait to pick them. I've got some more um, snow peas cruising up along in here as well, but I, something must have been at it. I'm thinking maybe a possum. So I might have to get some possum proof for the, for the grape. Here's some more of my rainbow chard that I planted. I really, really love this pink colour on this one. It is so beautiful and lovely. So it all needs a good water, which I'll do after I've finished recording all of this. I also have this beautiful kale. It, um, it's co coming through and I, I really like it. This is um, the kale that I got, and same with the rainbow chard, is what I got at the um, Six Gardens in one day, that if you go back in, you'll, you'll see that I've purchased seeds. But everything around here has kind of gone to seed and is looking very dry and and had it and just it, it needs a really good refresh but I, I want to keep I want to keep the flowers around for, for the bees and and attract them and so that I can have seeds for next year as well so 
I've let this radish, this radish right here go to seed. Um, it's a massive, it's a massive radish. But I wanted some more seed. I wanted seeds that I could harvest myself and, and replant next year. So, but pretty much everything in the garden at the moment is looking really sad and kind of dead. But that's just the change of season. So, <clears throat> I'm not... I'm not too worried about it, but it does need some TLC. I am getting a handful of strawberries every day from this little patch. So I'm, I'm extremely, I'm extremely happy with this little strawberry patch underneath the fig tree. So I'm going to continue that 